Hey baddies, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this attractive clean girl hairstyle using curly clip-in extensions from Curls Queen Hair. So without further ado, let's get into the video. In today's video, we're going to review the 18 inches clip-in hair extensions in the texture water jerry curly. This is my second time reviewing th this hair, not the same type of hair, but the company's hair. And every time I am awed from the packaging to the experience with washing the hair and the softness. This curl texture is definitely my favorite between the two. It is so pretty. It doesn't take much to define the curls and chef's kiss. As always, I wash the hair with hydrating conditioner and shampoo. And I also allow the hair to air dry after washing. I comb it out and everything. I'm gonna show you guys in these clips what I do to the clip-in extensions. And nothing's changed with this process. So I only did one bundle for you guys on camera and I did the rest off of camera. So just enjoy the process and I'll be back in a second. Look at these curls. They're so pretty and they're so defined. Like I said, the hair is like extremely soft and this hair, not gonna lie, is overall like the best vibe. I have gotten so many compliments on this hair. I've been wearing it in like a half up, half down, but for today's video, I'm definitely going to do a flip over method so you guys can see how the hair works, how full it is, and how it blends seamlessly on your hair. If y'all don't know, I am a 4C, I say 4B, 4C hair girly. My hair texture is different in certain places of my head, but overall, um, I'm mostly 4C and this hair definitely blends well with your 4C hair. So if you're wondering if it's for the 4C kinky curly girls, yes, it is. You can definitely work with this hair and it would definitely be blended really good to where you cannot tell that they're clip-ins or it's not your hair. These clip-ins are classic weft and I prefer the classic weft over the seamless clip-ins because the classic weft, they're easier to hide the track when you're doing like half up, half down, um, a ponytail. So if you're somebody that don't want to use the clip-ins for like a down look and you want to try different hairstyles like ponytails and things of that nature, these are the best type of clip-ins to get because it's easier to disguise the clip-ins and to where no one can see them. So just a little token for you. That's what I noticed from trying these different clip-ins with these brands, I do prefer the classic over seamless. During the comb out, I noticed very minimal shedding, hardly any as you can see. So that's a plus also. As I stated earlier, we are going to be trying the flip over method with the water jerry curly clip-ins. So let's see how this goes because look at this hair. Oh my gosh, look at this hair. <laughs> Y'all know when it comes to me prepping the base of my head for these clip-ins, it's giving very much rigged, okay? And y'all know what word come before that, but it's given that. So I don't do anything special. My, I don't be caring about the parting. As long as I have a stable foundation, I'm okay with that. I don't care how it looks because you're not going to see it with clip-ins. So don't talk about how I've done my base to get these clip-ins in my head, okay? <laughs> I'm 
These curly clip-ins are so thick and voluptuous. Like, oh my gosh, the curl pattern is so pretty. So, so pretty. And to put in the clip-ins, all you have to do is measure it to your head and clip them in. Push it down into your hair and you clip it and you will feel that it's secured. It's not hard to put them in at all. I like to measure going up the side because it helps the hair to fall nicely versus when you just go straight across. And that's just my personal preference. However you want to put them in is up to you. And then we're going in and watering the hair, adding the moisture back into it. We're gonna add a little mousse just to define the curls just a little bit more. But this stuff really isn't necessary unless you're wanting your curls to be more clean and neat versus like the fluffy, look if that makes sense <laughs> with one bundle you are getting 10 clip-ins and as you can see that's more than enough um i used all of the clip-ins except one so that you guys could see that you can get a full head of hair with these clip-ins and you can do versatile styles because it's more than enough hair more than enough clip-ins to do whatever you want um but one the one that i had left over i just couldn't find anything anywhere to put it so it's just like yeah Girl, you gotta relax today, okay? Although I'm doing the flip over method and I actually like it, it's a little vibey vibe. It's just not my thing because I like to do like half up, half down. I like ponytails and I like for the hair to be out of my face for the most part. But as you can see, the flip over method is still a vibe and it's still cute and she still gives you that attractive clean girl aesthetic that is popping right now and this is the final look i used all clip ends except for this one we couldn't find anywhere for her to go but it's okay the hair is really thick um i used all of the clip ends so that you guys can see that you can get a full head of hair and it's thick and pretty like me I wouldn't wear this much hair day to day, but like I said, I wanted to give you guys a full tutorial so you can see how thick the hair is. It is a full head of hair and some, okay? Depending on how big your head is. Um, but yeah, all of the information about the clip-ins, where you can get it from, my discount code, all of that is going to be linked in the description. So be sure to check this hair out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do y'all like this hair or nah? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.